Well, now is the time to make sure your house is free of rodents and pests. You can call the bug man at Connecticut Pest Elimination. We're lucky enough to have him here today, owner and president Mike Lipset. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. So what are you seeing this time of year when it comes to pests and rodents? Well, what I'm trying to do, what I want to convey to the public today is to be proactive. Mm -hmm. And this time of year, before rodents come in, and before wildlife comes in, it's a good time to do a thorough inspection of your property. I would definitely recommend going on the outside, look for any broken screens, any openings, mm -hmm. overgrowth, uh, people with bird feeders or people that live in homes that have a lot of trees and there's acorns. Sure. Uh, you really want to start looking now because I'm huge on being proactive and I bought a couple of bait boxes in. And this bait box here is for the perimeter. It's weighted. And that stays outside? Yes. Okay. By, by law, if you put bait boxes outside, they got to be weighted or anchored, okay? And so the, most companies today get them with the patio block built into them. Okay. Sometimes if it's an area with a lot of rodent pressure, we even add weight or wire it down as well. But I'm a big fan of being doing the outside and getting the outside set up because mm -hmm. if you could stop the rodents on the outside, you're not going to get them in. Right. And, of course... Rodents have very small ranges. The biggest thing that moves rodents, of course, is climate. Okay. Construction, like if somebody's clearing a lot or knocking a building down next to you, okay? Mm -hmm. and, or if somebody cleans up something and removes the harborage, or any change in the environment is what's going to make the rodents move. Okay. And certainly the cold weather, they're going to try to come in. So now's the time for a thorough inspection. I, I also bought an interior box that we use. Okay. And what all, would you catch in there? Well, this is not... A lot of people think they're traps. They're feeding stations. Feeding stations, and okay. And we use baits because they're anticoagulant baits, and the likelihood of secondary poisoning is very low with anticoagulant baits. Uh, and um, by using baits, the, you don't have to come back every week or every two weeks. You that can set sense. up a, a service schedule that's cost-effective for the client. And, of course, on the outside, it's huge. These boxes are designed for rats and mice mm -hmm. and if you look in there these the skewers the bait blocks are on a wire and that prevents the rodents or wildlife removing the bait from the box and running off <laughs> right well but i see and i have to warn the public on this you can go to home depot or lowe's or one of those places and buy a little uh, bait box and mm -hmm. it has a bait block in it and some people not knowing any better put that outside that's not safe outside so you don't want to do that if you're a homeowner. You don't want to put little bit boxes outside that pets, children, and wildlife can break open and get into. Sure. So that's why we use the larger boxes that are more secure outside. That makes sense. And this might be an obvious question, but how do you know if you have a problem with rodents? Normally you can see the signs. Okay. You look for droppings. If you're doing an interior inspection, obviously we're looking for droppings. Mm -hmm. uh, before we ever do an interior, we always look at the outside first. And especially like with wildlife, uh, this is the time that they're going to be starting to find a place to den for the winter and have their pups. So, and you, you don't want that in your attic. No, <laughs> not your, and you can't believe a lot of times people say to me, geez, I, I don't know why I have my attic. And then you see a tree limb going right up to the roof line and a broken gable and vent. And that'll do it. Well, that'll do it. All so, right, so you know, now's the time fixed. Yeah. to get a hold of the bug man. Pretty easy. You could check him out online. It is Connecticut. CTPest.com. CTPest.com. Mike, thank you so much for being here. Well, time to plan ahead. Thanks for having me. All right. Again, that's CTPest.